Okay, today we're going to look at order of operations. All right, so you got all kinds of numbers and all kinds of different operations. So what do you do when they're all thrown together? Let's. So we use order of operations. So you know that there has to be because there has to be a correct order. You can get different answers. So here are your steps. So first is the parentheses or other grouping symbols such as brackets. Then you do exponents. Then you do multiplication and division from left to right, and then addition and subtraction from left to right. So whichever ever's first. If subtraction's first, then you do subtraction before addition. Whatever's first when you go left to right. All right. So if you ever heard P E M D A S, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So again, P is for parentheses, E is for exponents, M is for multiplication, D is for division, A for addition, S is for subtraction. All right, so here is an example. So order of operations, you got 5 minus 4 squared divided by parentheses 10 minus 2 plus 3 times 6. So first you do the parentheses, the P. So eight minus two, uh, 10 minus 2, I'm sorry, is 8. So now it's 5 minus 4 squared divided by 8 plus 3 times 6. So the next thing you're going to do is the exponent. So remember, so 4 squared means 4 times 4, which is 16. So you have 5 minus 16 divided by 8 plus 3 divided times 6. So now you do the division of 16 divided by 8, so 5 minus, which is 2. So 5 minus 2 plus 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18. 5 minus 2 plus 18. So then now it's just in the order. 5 minus 2 is 3, so plus 18 gives you 21. All right. So look at these. Who's correct? The boy did got 14. He did 3 plus 4, which is 7. Then he did times 2 and got 14. Or she did 3 plus 4. I'm sorry, she did the 4 times 2 is 8, and then added the 3 and got 11. Which one's correct? You got it. The little chickadee is. All right, one more example. So remember, you're going to do it's in parentheses first. And this one's got double parentheses, so you do the most inner parentheses first. So you have 16 minus parentheses 3 times parentheses 10 divided by 2, close parentheses. So 10 divided by 2, you get 5. So it's 16 minus parentheses 3 times 5. So then you do 3 times 5, and then now it's 16 minus 15, which is 1. All right, so don't forget, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication and or division, addition and or subtraction. Okay, so these are your four problems to do tonight. Make sure you bring those in tomorrow. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to bring those in. Good morning.